Hi everyone, I've been having some fun recently using uh, Leela Zero to uh, analyze my games and I've been using the GUI uh, Sabaki. So um, I had a little bit of trouble getting Sabaki and Leela Zero to work so I thought I would just um, go over this, uh, show you guys how to uh, make it work simply and uh, show you some of the things that you can do with it. Uh, also at the end of this video I'm going to talk a little bit about Tsumego Hero which is a uh, website it's a free collection of uh, life and death problems, and uh, I thought that was pretty handy as well. So when you get tired of uh, Sabaki and Leela Zero, you can skip it ahead to the end and uh, learn about Tsumego Hero. Um, but let's start with Sabaki. So Sabaki by itself, it's on GitHub, first of all. So let's go to GitHub. Yeah, well, search for GitHub Sabaki. That's a simple way to get there. I'll also include pointers to this uh, in the description of the video so you can go there directly that way as well. But anyway, you click on this, you go to GitHub, and um, if you go to releases here, it'll take you to the latest release and you can just download it. Now Sabaki itself uh, runs on a bunch of different platforms, but uh, Leela Zero, I only found a version on Windows. I don't know if, uh, if there are versions for other platforms that you can get from different sources, but the, the version I found is only for uh, Windows, so I did want to warn you of that. Um, you can choose between the 32 and 64-bit uh, version of Windows. I use the 64-bit. Anyway, you just download that and install it, and all of that uh, runs very smoothly. And uh, let's, let's show you what Sabaki can do just by itself without any, um, without any help from uh, anybody else. Um, it's a window. Oh, here, let's turn the uh, game tree and the comments off. I wanted to show you. It comes up like this in a very simple screen with uh, no extraneous panels, just the green background and the Go board. And then if you have a uh, SGF file that you can load, you can just go and open it. Um, I have this one that I downloaded from... Um, it's... Um, if you join the American Go Association, they have a regular newsletter, and this is one of the uh, annotated SGF files they uh, uh, included in that newsletter. So I downloaded this from the from their newsletter, and um, if you scroll through this, you'll see that the moves start peering up, uh, start to showing up. Um, now, actually, I'm just um, scrolling my mouse wheel there. It's all I'm doing. Or you can use the down arrow key to go through the game, or up arrow. But you can't see much going on, so that's why uh, the first thing I do is I turn on... Well, first of all, let's show the game tree. Let's move the window over here. So this uh, vertical line here, this shows the moves of the game, and you are going through it, and you can see the branches. So like here, there's a branch. So there's an alternative. To, you can click on it here, or you can go here. So you can see the, those are different move choices. Uh, you still don't see the comments at this point. You also have to turn on another window to show the comments. And now here you see the, the commentary. So this uh, commentary was prepared by Yuan Zhou. Uh, looks like uh, Bill Cobb and Myron Soros uh, did the editing of the game file. And, uh, you know, he talks about the game. And then as you step through it, um, there's some um, minimal comments, but every now and then he has, um, fairly often he has, has pretty, he has comments. As he gets into it, he's, he's commenting every other move or so. So uh, anyway, it's a nice way to scroll through the file and uh, see what's going on. You can also, at any point, um, add, add moves of your own. I'm doing some nonsense moves here. And then you can save it. And then you can save that as a, uh, as a modified file. And so that, that's it um, for Sabaki. What I really wanted to get to was uh, showing you how to use this with Leela Zero. So let's get on to that now. Let's close this. So I don't want to save that. So you can get Leela Zero the same way. You just go and search for it. It's also on uh, GitHub. And uh, once again, I'll include a pointer to this uh, website in, my, uh, in the description of this video. So you can just go there directly. But it's uh, pretty easy to find by searching. And that'll take you to this page where the latest version is Leela 0 0.17 plus Auto GTP version 18. And um, these are the versions you have to choose from. If you have a graphics card, you 
want to choose one of these, the 32 or 64-bit version. If you just have a, a CPU with no, no graphics card, you probably want to choose one of these. And um, these are not executables that install. These are just zip files that you unpack. So let's um, show you where I unpack that. Here we go. So I created a directory called Go, and I un unpacked it into uh, this directory. It actually created uh, two. I don't know why uh, uh, zip files do this. There's there's always like uh, uh, it, it created this uh, directory called Leela 0, 0 0.17164, and then inside it, it created another directory called Leela 0, <laughs> 0 0.17 Win 64. So anyway, I, I deleted. I mean, I moved it up a level and deleted it. So, so there's only one level of uh, <laughs> directory here. Uh, anyway, here you see Leela Z. This this file here is the uh, application that runs Leela Zero, and then Auto GTP. This is an important thing. You need to uh, run this first, and that will um, that will actually download a network weights file for you, and then start up an autoplay game. So you let that run. It'll it'll put up a console here. I'll, I'll click on it, and you'll see that. Uh, it puts up a console screen, and uh, what it's doing is it's uh, downloading the uh, the latest network weights file, and then it uh, starts a self play game. And uh, let's see, it's going to take maybe four seconds a move or something like that. But if we wait a little bit here, oh zero one zero, okay, so it's like uh, one second a move. And you can see it starts to make the moves there. It's made moves one and two. Anyway, once it's started making the moves, you can stop this and then go on with the configuration step. Um, if you want to, you can run this program and let it run overnight. What it's doing is it's doing these self-play games, and then it's uh, reporting the results back to uh, uh, the central source where it's used to uh, update the network weights file. So it's part of a distributed computing project to uh, try to find the best network weights for uh, for Leela Zero. So by running this uh, when your machine is idle, then uh, then you're contributing to that project. But anyway, once you've uh, got it this far, you've got you've got a, a weights file, and so now you're ready to configure Sabaki to use uh, uh, to use um, Leela Zero. So here's a handy tip for you if you right click on Lila Zero. You select it and then right click. Go to Properties and in Properties go to Security. You see Object Name here and this will give you the full path name of uh, any object and uh, why this is handy is because you're going to need uh, this Network Weights file. Let's get the the most recent one. So I, I originally downloaded this one on August 2nd this is the more recent one we just got on August 22nd. So let's uh, get its properties. Um, go to security and then let's uh, copy that. And notice it's got the GZ extension. It's actually a compressed file, but uh, but that actually works as a, as a weights file. Um, uh, Sabaki is expecting that. Okay, so let's uh, close these windows and bring up um, Bring up Sabaki. Okay, now let's go to uh, Sabaki and configure it to use Leela Zero. So, run Sabaki again, and uh, go to the Engines menu here, and go to Manage Engines. And you can see um, there's an entry here already for uh, for Leela Zero, and then you click Add to give you another entry, and then there's. Um, uh, a series of lines you have to fill in. You have to fill in the path to the executable, you have to fill in the arguments and the initial commands. And uh, these are uh, standard uh, lines that I got from, from another example, so I don't know exactly what these mean, but I know I know that they work. So let's uh, call this one Leela Zero 822 after the date. And then the path, this is the path to Leela Zero. So if we go back here and uh, I can do that trick with uh, the right click and properties, we can get that, that path to Leela Zero. Copy that. And go here and paste it. 
And then the arguments. Um, so the arguments are dash dash GTP dash W and then W and then the weights file, whatever it is, and then dash dash no ponder. That's what the um, that's what the arguments are. And then the initial commands are these three here, the time settings. Uh, it's four, I guess. Or maybe time settings is just one command. Anyway, that's all you need. Now you just have to fill in this uh, file here. So let's go back to uh, to the networks and let's see. Yeah, this one was August twenty second. Let's get the properties. Let's get the object name. Let's so copy that. And then we uh, go here and paste it and then get rid of those brackets and things that I put in there. That was just to uh, to give you a template. So it starts with C colon and ends with dot GZ. And that's the whole entry. And all you have to do is uh, close this now. You hit add to give you the implement empty form. You fill it out and then you close it. And now you have um, two engines available. I have both both the old one and the new one. And uh, you can also download weights files uh, from various places on the internet. So if you're interested, you can load different weights files and, and try out uh, different flavors. So um, let's play a game now. This is one way to do it. You can just, um, let's see, yeah, just start playing. Oh, no, I think, uh, let's do it this way. You do file new. Now oh, that's interesting. <laughs> they, they, they um, they rattled all those stones out. This this shows you how to attach an engine. So say I want to go first. So I want to be black. Um, I could I could write my name in here. And then for white, I want uh, Leela zero eight twenty two. I want the new one that we just did. And then I click OK. So I will move. And then I'll wait for uh, Leela to respond. And those time settings. Uh, indicate that it will take at least uh, or no more than four seconds to respond so it responds pretty quickly and uh, and if you know exactly what those arguments mean you can you can modify the time settings according to how you want to play so let's play a 4-4 four, four and a 4-3 so this will just uh, let you play a game against Leela Zero now it looks like it's uh, filling in the comments here I hadn't noticed that before, the stretch. <laughs> and uh, I think it didn't like the three space jump last time I played this. And yeah, it looks like it puts a, a, a comment on every move. So um, what we can do now that we have a few moves there, you can also do this with another, uh, with a game that you've loaded. Uh, you can go to engines and you can say uh, toggle analysis. At this point, it will start to um, think about uh, where to play, and it gives you these uh, displays. And uh, you can scroll through the game. I played there. What's the best response? Best response is down here. Played here. What's my best response? My best response would have been here, maybe 42.8, or here. It looks like it's identical. Anyway, the numbers are percentage uh, win rates, and then the colors, you know, the green is the best. Well, any any place that there is uh, any place where there's a, a uh, color and a, and a number, those, those are moves that it's considering. So those moves are better, presumably, than places that it's not considering. And as you let it run, it considers more and more moves. But then it gives its numerical estimate. So it looks like there's lots of moves you can play in the opening. And uh, it also thinks that white is winning from the beginning, which is kind of interesting. But, uh, well, that's, that's its opinion. Um, so it says, well, maybe I should have jumped into the corner here <laughs> as my best move. What I, I did an approach. Let's see, was that even on the list? Yeah, that was that was one of the moves that it considered. And it's not a huge difference. You see the difference between 42% and 43%. And you also see if you hover your mouse over a particular point, it will play out a sequence of what it expects to happen from that point forward. So, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, one other thing. Uh, let's stop this one. So, engines. Let's detach all the engines. 
and turn off turn off the analysis. Uh, and then let's open uh, a new game. We don't want to save that one. So once again, we'll use this example. Say you have a game that uh, that you have um, played, and then you've saved it, and then you want uh, uh, you want Sabaki to, or you want Leela Zero to analyze it. Here, I wanted to show something else too. Under Engines, you can turn on Toggle GTP Console. Oh, I moved it the wrong way. Now let's do it like this. Shrink this in a little bit. There we go. So all on screen now, um, and this will show the output of the uh, of the engine, which may be useful in debugging if you find problems. So we'll uh, we'll show that. You'll see some text appearing here in a minute. Let's go through the game kind of quickly to some random point where I don't know what's going on. And uh, let's see. Okay, so he has no no special comment there and say you want to know what's going on at this point in the game so at this point um, you need to attach an engine you can't just toggle analysis if you try to toggle analysis right away it'll say you haven't attached an engine so you go here and you do attach engine and then you choose a side to attach the engine to it doesn't seem to matter which one so let's attach the engine and then say okay and now you'll see the output, uh, the GTP output over here. And wait for a while. Let this run. It's going to think for a while. Yeah, this is where I got that thinking for at most four seconds. And you'll see it plays a move. Um, so it's a little bit annoying if you just want to see the moves that are in the game. Um, but you can back up. It's easy to undo. And then you turn on toggle analysis. And you'll get the different the different evaluations. Um, so this is useful. It's maybe more useful early in the game as you get towards the end of the game where like one side is heavily winning versus another side. Um, it's harder for the engine to uh, the AI to provide useful information because uh, basically all moves are, are losing for one side and winning for the other so there's not much to discriminate between them. So you might have an interesting fight near the end of the game, but uh, actually that fight doesn't matter because the game is already decided and you won't really get much feedback on it. But if you have, uh, if you're early in the game, you get good feedback. And if you have a fight that is critical for the outcome of the game, then you'll get uh, good feedback from Lila Zero. So let's step through the game a bit. Let's see. Um, yeah, that's, that's how it was played. So if you just wait, then the numbers will start to come up. You'll see it thinks that... Um, Whose turn is it? It's White's turn. It thinks that White should play here. If you scroll forward and scroll back, ah, yeah, it looks like White really did play there. Okay, so let's see if we can get a place where it's different. It thinks that uh, Black should play over here, and instead Black played here. Yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. There's going to be this faint dot where where the actual move was, as well as uh, as these um, evaluations of where the engine thinks that uh, that that side should have played. So that's uh, that's what I know about uh, Leela Zero and Sabaki so far. Here, let's uh, let's toggle the analysis and detach the engines. And then, is there anything else? So you have the file menu where you can open and uh, you can save games after you've modified it. You can uh, tell it to play one side or the other, apparently. I haven't tried that toggle player thing. Um, and then there's commands to edit the uh, game tree. I haven't used those too much. Um, navigation and the engines. Yeah, so mostly I was I was using the engine commands and then just going through and checking out various moves. Um, okay, that's it for Sabaki and uh, Leela Zero. Let's go on. There was, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I wanted to show you uh, Tsumego Hero. So you can just uh, search for Tsumego Hero. And um, once again, I'll, I'll include a pointer to this in the description, but it's uh, pretty easy to uh, find. And uh, let's see, where is sign in? Yeah, sign in is here. So I already created an account for myself. And um, it keeps track of your progress, which I think is kind of a cool feature. So what you can do is you can go to collections here and uh, 
and then you can sort the collections by how much progress you've made or how difficult they are, size of them. I was using difficulty. I just started with the easiest ones first, which uh, are these three. Capture the Stones, Introduction to Life and Death, and Introduction to Life and Death Living, and Introduction to Life and Death Killing. So I've completed these two, and I'm working on this one. Uh, this one was pretty easy. This one started out really easy and got a little harder towards the end, and the same with this one. It started out really easy and got a little harder towards the end. But uh, even the easy ones, you know, it's good for reinforcing your understanding of patterns. And you can see there's uh, more uh, problems. So these are like one star level of difficulty. These are two star, get up to three star. And anyway, you can just go through them and it keeps track of your progress. So when you go to the problem, uh, let's see, these are the ones I have done so far. No, yeah, that's the one I'm, I'm working on, 144. Uh, and you can just go and it gives you a problem. Let's see, uh, so what does this look like? It is white to kill, and uh, not quite sure how to do this, but anyway, you just click here and uh, play a few moves. Let's see, if I go here, well, this is still at most one eye, right? I just have to make sure he can't, uh, can't create an eye over here. I may have done something wrong already. <laughs> like I said, these get harder here. So at some point, it'll tell me I'm wrong. Oh, no, that was correct. That was correct. Why is this working? Black can capture that. <laughs> anyway, some of those some of those are kind of tricky, so uh, so uh, it, you can uh, spend some time trying to figure them out. It's interesting that I managed to get that one right, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> anyway, that's Two Mega Hero, and that is it for uh, this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these uh, this video, and uh, you'll have fun playing with these uh, tools. And I will see you later.